Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes and a lot of limited edition boxes around this time of year. And I was really excited when Of Aspen did their latest drop. They had several of their amazing mystery boxes. I did open their very special one for Halloween and I made the mistake of trying to put all of that into one video. So definitely taking all of your feedback from that. And if I do happen to get that box next year, I will definitely break it up into two videos because you know I love to keep my videos around 20 minutes just so they are something that you can digest and enjoy in one sitting and not have to come back to. But like I said, I was very excited about all of the mystery boxes they had available. I was sort of hemming and hawing about a Keith Haring box in addition to one of the other ones that I had selected. And by the time I got back into my cart, that one had sold out. There are a couple different ones that I was really excited about that did wind up selling out because they do wind up selling out very quickly. But I was able to get in on the Dark Academia mystery box, which I was really excited about. They're all at different price points, so let me just tell you a little bit about it, and then we will get in to our lovely box, which just has a plain brown box, but then of course we have this nice black tissue paper from Of Aspen, which they have all kinds of beautiful stationary products and lifestyle products, and I just think they do a really nice job with these boxes. So the Dark Academia Mystery Theme set was $95 plus $9 in shipping. That's their flat rate. Sometimes they do deals where you can get free shipping if you spend a certain amount, but $95 for me is kind of a, a big price tag for a mystery box, but it did promise that there would be 14 items, three big, three medium, and eight small. So small could be like a sticker, for example. There are 10 different artists and brands represented. The color scheme is jewel tones and neutrals. They always show you some images that kind of give you the vibe of the box. Box. The vibe is studious jewel tones, old books, parchment, dark academia, and the energy is note taking, planning tasks, and studying. Now, I'm not in school anymore. I was in school for way too long, but I do love that kind of vibe. I loved going in the Coimbra University uh, library, which you can't take pictures of, where bats kind of watch over the books, just but all that old book smell and that kind of vibe of like Harry Potter style people studying in these big stacks. Uh, just, I kind of love it still. So that's a little bit of the academic that is still within my soul. It says inspired by towering columns, rows of dusty books, whispers amongst shelves, warm tones of stained paper and taps of leather shoes on marble steps, of late nights in libraries and coffee shops surrounded by silent whispers and pages turning, keys typing and a chatter of the unknown, the feeling of mystery and curiosity, of adventure and spontaneity, of romance and philosophy, every genre a new journey into the preservation of knowledge. That was the description. So that hooked me you guys so it came with a little envelope from of aspen looks like we got a little bonus alien sticker now i'm not like an alien person but i do appreciate a good sticker and then this is part of again the winter woodlands drop so sometimes these drop at like midnight sometimes you have to have a secret password to get in there it's very fun welcome to winter little leaf we've been busy at the of aspen workshop and can't wait for you for you to give your new goodies a loving home. When I think of winter, I think of the woods transforming into a winter wonderland of woodland creatures scurrying around in the snow, cozy cabins nestled amongst the trees and ponds freezing over in hopes of skating adventures. Whether you celebrate a holiday, your friends and family, or simply this magical time of year, we hope to give you an oasis of options to get you in the spirit to create. Thank you for supporting our artists, supporting artist movement, our Up Aspen team, along with over 175 artists, Greatly appreciate your efforts to keep the arts alive and thriving, Little Leaf. So beautiful, wintry image. And that note, of course, was from Caroline, who is a lovely human in my very few interactions with her. And then we just have the order invoice and it does say bonus stickers are included in there and then I had written her a little note telling her about that last video unboxing and she said thank you that is so sweet so let's go ahead and dive in because again we have 14 items to take a look at and of course we got that bonus uh, alien sticker and I do want to have time now there isn't like a booklet this time around so I think that we should be able to get into it pretty quickly because I won't have as much information to share with you we do have some biodegradable packing peanuts for me to kind of toss here to the ground and then we will hopefully get into our bundle of amazing goodies so this time around you guys they're not all um individually wrapped a couple of them are probably to prevent scratchage they also do some really cool um pen releases so if you are particular about your pens and paper like i am so let me just get this last little guy off of here hopefully nothing falls out of our bundle but i am loving the presentation already of our dark academia mystery theme set so 
I'm gonna be finding these little packing peanuts everywhere for a while, I have a feeling. So let me see if I can go ahead and maybe I'll just snip the twine. That seems like the easiest thing to do. And then of course it will all fall apart on me. <laughs> all right, so first we have this sort of mystical, magical pouch. I'm guessing this is from Cognitive Surplus, which also does mystery boxes. I've opened one of them here on the channel. Let me know if you'd like me to get more of them. It's the, of course, alchemy is the theme. I'm not sure if it is. It says it's from the philosophersguild.com, excuse me, but it does have that camera canvas field um, of some of the cognitive surplus items. So let's see what it looks like inside. I have a feeling there are some goodies inside as well. This is actually really nice. It says you get out of it what you put into it. The Unemployed Philosophers Guild. That's what it says on that interior slip pouch. That is so true. <laughs> I, I think I'm an unemployed philosopher. I'm an unemployed poet, that's for sure. Uh, so this is really cool. It does tell us about the Unemployed Philosophers Guild and alchemy. If found, return to the laboratory of. It's got this little like keychain on that. That's so cute. Isaac Newton, father of classical physics, Robert Boyle, first modern chemist, Antoine Lavoisier, the father of chemistry, and Swedish playwright August Strindberg, all represented in this cute little pouch. So let's take a look at what else we have. So that was item number one. Ooh, we got something from Cloth and Paper. So we did get a little notepad from Cloth and Paper in the Halloween Moonlit Manor box that I also opened. They were supposed to look like gravestones. They do very nice minimalist paper goods. So these are archived sticky notes. Beautiful in matte. It is 50 sheets and it almost looks even more like a tombstone than the one that we got in the Halloween box, but love their products. That was a nice one. We got a little bundle of amazing pens. So of course this is going to be tricky for me to get into that, but I do like that they put them into a little mesh bag. So all the kind of smaller items are all together. So let's see, we got some great washi tape from Root and Branch Paper Company. So we love our washi tape. This one's actually really pretty, you guys. Look at the botanicals on this one. So they did have a couple of garden theme ones. Uh, I think I missed out on those. They had one that was just succulents. I would love that for sure. Um, beautiful, beautiful. They have one that's just like bugs and insects, which I'm not quite brave enough for that, even though most bugs don't bother me and I do like kind of a scientific drawing vibe. That's a really pretty washi tape. I do, I have a resolution this year to uh, use more washi tape. <laughs> All right, and though, so now we have some great pens. All right, these are like the old school jelly roll pens that I fell in love with when I fell in love with gel pens. So we have a nice classic black uh, in eight is the size. Beautiful, and then this one is a metallic, dark blue metallic, loving that. I'm gonna use that all the time. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what the uh, size on that one is, but those are two great colors. Very happy about that because I am starting my day planner. You guys, I've already like gone through two day planners that didn't like, I like started them and I was like, nope, this is, I'm not gonna be happy with this for the entire year. I'm very particular about my day planners, even though they wind up being a mess after the first month anyway. So two Jelly Roll pens. Then we got two of these that look kind of like pencils, which is interesting. Um, so this one is a Stabilo Point 88, and that's a good sign, you guys, because eight is my lucky number. Ooh, I love these kinds of pens. It's like a, almost like a little felt tip pen. Um, they usually write really nicely, and it looks like it's in a purple, like a very dark, dark purple, like a royal purple, if you will. And then this one is also Stabilo, and it says Pen 68. So, ooh, this is more of a felt, thicker felt tip, and it looks like it's maybe in a dark, dark brown. So, great. Um, so, the, it doesn't necessarily, I think this, this is more the color that it is. Uh, so, the cap on one told us what it was, but this is definitely a lot lighter when the, than what the actual pen color is. We got two more. We, ooh, I like these two. <laughs> this is Le Pen. It's a Japanese brand, um, and it's one of those nice, fine felt tip pens again. And then I probably don't have my pen terminology quite right. I think the uh, folks at, of Aspen are much better uh, at telling you all that. Ooh, this is a double ended. I got distracted. The double ended one by Midliner. Lovely cream color. I'm wondering what the pen points are. So this is almost like a highlighter shape on one side. And then on the other side, I'm assuming smaller, so a little bit more like that brown one that I showed you before. So I don't use like the thicker pens that often, but unless I find like a color that I really like, but all those like fine tip felt pens and the jelly roll pens, very excited about those. So that was six of our items, plus the washi tape, that's seven, the notepad, 
uh, the sticky notes, that's eight, and then the little pouch, that's nine. So that means that we have five more items to take a look at, I think. The first one is this Fabriano Echo Equa Equa notepad. Um, you guys, like, or notebook spiral binding you guys know i love that it's eight it's 5.8 by 8.3 24 pound paper um looks like there's 70 pages they are made in italy it's got this nice kind of linen texture cover very neutral love that it does have a sort of nameplate um space to put what the subject or owner is there and then just these gorgeous very plain cream pages inside I love spiral bound because you can rip pages out without ruining the binding of your book, but also because you can fold them back and it makes it so much easier to write on. Um, and you don't have anything kind of like ruining it where my, like I have to have my hand very, very steady um, so that I can write very neatly because I'm a little bit of a neat freak when it comes to my handwriting. My friends in college and high school used to joke that I had multiple um, fonts and uh, I kind of love that and I, I kind of think it's true. So that was item number nine. We have a couple more items here that look to be stuck. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get this to, oh no. I just like, I wasn't delicate enough with it. And so now it has sort of ruined one of my labels. All right, well, that's all right. So this looks like a sticker. Ex Libris, we have a nice little book plate. So that is number 10. That's one of our smaller items. But we had this like sticky ribbon Oh, it was just washi tape. They had the black washi tape keeping it in place, but unfortunately it ripped the uh, binding or the band that went on this appointed notebook with 75 sheets and 70 pound stock paper. It is seven and a half inches by nine and a half inches. Uh, it does have like little bubbles for grid lined or blank. This one is blank. It's made uh, in Washington DC, but look how beautiful that color is. So I just ripped this. It, it wasn't the actual cover of it. Oh, this is nice, you guys. Established 2015. So appointed company. It is American made. It's got the double ring of a uh, spiral binding you know I love that Ooh, this is a nice notebook this is lovely I love this size it's kind of in between it's like medium size this would be like for me this would be a favorite notebook size for note taking and I used to take copious notes in all of my literature classes in my teeny tiniest font uh, I do love this this is very nice very smooth white paper um, I would have actually loved to have gotten the grid or lined paper just because I think I would have used it more I'm like almost afraid to use this one because perfectionist tendencies but this color you guys it actually is a lot more navy like a, a lot darker in person than it's showing up with my bright lights on it's kind of showing as more blue but it is a very very dark dark blue like to the point where I would almost think it was black um, unless I was seeing it in the camera so it actually could be black but no I think it's blue I think it's blue but it's just showing as much more blue on camera than it is in real life then that was item number 12 we have item number 13 which is also from cloth and paper they're suede dots I don't know what you do with suede dots you guys so they're these little stickers they're called suede dots. Are they just to like make notes in your notebooks to like mark pages? I have no idea. Let's see what they are. So they're just suede dots. They're just little stickers. I feel like you could make really fancy bullet points in your bullet journal with these. I don't know. This is the kind of thing that I love though, where it's like for me, I would put these on my calendars and I would just know, oh, there's an important appointment or event on that day because it's got this beautiful suede dot on it. There are these very dark gray ones. Very pretty. I like them. They feel like they're um, going to be very thin because it's almost like on a vellum sort of paper. Uh, so I don't know. Like you have to be very careful. I have a feeling when you place them on the paper because I bet they're really hard to pull back up because they're not very thick. They're on a very thin kind of sticker sheet. We have one final item. This is number 14. So our three big items were the two notebooks, the two spiral bound notebooks, and then this one. And then I would say our three medium items are probably that uh, little sticky notepad, the, um, the little pouch, and then maybe the washi tape, I guess, uh, or maybe the suede dots. And then of course we have our eight small items, which would be the sticker uh, the six pens and then either the dots or the washi tape, depending on what you're considering medium. This is nice. Ooh, 
I, <laughs> this is from a company called Ramona and Ruth, which I'm not familiar with. This is a beautiful desk notepad with the week on it. It's a weekly desk pad. So obviously there are 52 sheets. This notepad is thoughtfully created to help you design your best week and live with intention and clarity. And what I kind of love about these is you can definitely use them as a mouse pad as well. So, uh, but then you have to be careful and not get them dirty, but it is a nice like cream color and it does have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday, cause you shouldn't have too many plans on those days anyway. It is the weekend. Um, although I know a lot of us don't have a traditional work week anymore. Uh, those two are combined. Each day gets its own three lines. There is the week of up in the top corner, uh, top priorities in the bottom left corner. There's three lines for that and then a little box for notes. So I'm going to try to hold it up and get that to focus you guys. I know it's a little bit hard sometimes when it's super bright, but hopefully you can kind of see the uh, layout for that. But I actually really love that. I think this is a great thing that I will totally use in conjunction with my spiral notepad because then maybe I can kind of just like write some of my notes here because I do a lot of list making and keep my spiral bound journal um, day planner a little bit neater because I'm such a neat freak about it. It's like one of those things where it's a catch 22 where I want to write things down immediately to make sure that I don't forget. But at the same time, I need to take the time to sit down, make sure my hand is steady, make sure I have the right pen where it's not going to leak through, make sure it matches and kind of goes along with all of my other appointments. Because otherwise, if I make a mistake, it's this glaring thing. Then I have to find a sticker to cover up my error and make sure that it doesn't like bleed through. Then I use sometimes washi tape on the opposite side, but then I might be covering up another appointment. I know. See, this is like confessions of a perfectionist, which again, it's taken me like 20 years. I've gotten so much better about it, but that's what um, a lot of the stationary stuff brings out in me because I want to keep it pristine and clean and beautiful and have it be something that I can use as sort of a journal to hold on to and one day reflect back on. I used to keep all of my day planners like when I was in high school and college and I would actually go back and look at them and be like, wow, I thought I was so busy and now I'm so much more busy. I still do that with my digital day planners, but not as much, but it would be nice to not be like me and be constantly trying to throw things away. So this is probably one of my favorite things. Very, very simple, but I will definitely use it. I am happy about that. This is a gorgeous notebook, even though I kind of tore the little band that goes around it. Our third uh, larger item in this Stark Academia mystery box, also beautiful. I love the blue and the, and the tan together. Then we got, again, our suede dots, which I'm not sure what the actual use is for, but I already have some ideas for myself. Like I put those dots on that nice like weekly pad. We got this cute little alchemy, uh, you could use it for your pencils, you could use it for your makeup, you could use it for so many different things. Then for some of our kind of medium items, I'm not sure what we're considering medium, but cloth and paper sticky notes, beautiful washi tape, and then finally we got a little extra alien sticker, which was fun, and six fun, fun pens. Some double-sided, some felt, some jelly roll. I am very happy with these new writing utensils. It will make me happy as we go into the new year, and even as I am filling out my very, very, very late holiday cards. You guys let me know what your favorite item was in the comments below. If you're looking for a fun mystery box and you love beautiful stationary items, desk accessories, and other lifestyle items, check out their different drops they do. Obviously they have a shop that you don't have to wait for the drop. You don't have to wait for a mystery box, but I just think the mystery boxes are a lot of fun. If there's any on there that you see that are not sold out, which is hard to find one that's not sold out that you would like me to get and review, uh, let me know in the comments below. I can definitely try to save up my money so that I am ready for it when it becomes available again or when something similar becomes available. But I think right now I'm pretty good on my gorgeous, uh, very sophisticated, very sleek, and grown-up stationery. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, help me out with a thumbs up, and I'll see you soon in my next unboxing, or maybe in our Advent series. It's still going on for a few more days, and then we are on to the 12 days of Noel. <laughs> Another 12 days of more me. Thanks, guys.